Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStreets.com and today we are going to talk about the USB OTG. We have got one of the questions from one of our followers and his name is Ravi and he has asked us what is the difference in between a USB OTG 2.0 drive and a USB OTG 3.0 drive. Now first of all let me talk about what is a USB OTG 3.0 drive and what is a USB OTG 2.0 drive and we will talk about other things later on. First of all I would like to say a USB 3.0 OTG drive and a 2.0 OTG drive are the same. The only difference is that these USB drives are USB 3.0 and USB 2.0 and that actually has to do with the speeds at which you can do the data transfer. A USB 3.0 drive can actually do a data transfer much faster compared to USB 2.0 because of that is a faster protocol and it also depends on your other device with which you are connecting these devices for example if your pc if your laptop has a usb 3.0 port and you are connecting a USB 3.0 drive then only you can do a fast data transfer but in that case if your laptop has USB 2.0 port and you are connecting a USB 3.0 drive in that case you will be able to do the data transfer but not at that speed which you might expect with USB 3.0 connection. So both the devices uh, in this case for the USB 3.0 for faster speed has to have USB 3.0 support otherwise you cannot basically do it and this is kind of a hardware thing which has to happen. So both the ports have to have USB 3.0 port so that is the thing which you need to know in case you are trying to find out what is the difference between USB OTG 3.0 drive and 2.0 drive. Now let me talk about what is USB OTG and what does it mean why your smartphone should have it and what you can do with it. So first of all we will talk about what is USB OTG why a smartphone should have it and why it is a very useful feature as of now when it comes to Android phones. Now Android phones support this feature and USB OTG is a protocol. So let me get started with this video and the first thing which we are going to talk about is what is USB OTG. USB OTG means USB on the go. That means with this protocol you can actually connect two smartphones together with the help of USB cable. You can connect a flash drive to your smartphone as well with the help of OTG cable and you can also connect mouse and keyboard to your smartphone as well with the help of OTG cable. So OTG cable is a small hardware which could be a wire which could be a connector and that's how you connect these mobile devices together and this is this protocol the USB on the go protocol has to be supported on your smartphone has to be enabled on your smartphone and USB OTG is not only a software thing it is a combination of hardware and software together so if your phone has the required hardware and if had the required software and if the software enables if your phone OS enables the OTG support then only you can use OTG so in that case even if your phone hardware is there it supports OTG but it is disabled by default by the phone manufacturer who is selling the phone who is basically manufacturing the phone then in that case you may not be able to use OTG feature on that particular phone and that may happen to you at times. So let me talk about what exactly we do with USB OTG. So first of all USB OTG is there to solve the problem when it comes to the memory. In case you have a smartphone which has like limited storage of 8 GB for example in that case you will get around 5 GB user available uh, as per the standard size which we normally see but in if you have USB OTG support then you can connect a USB flash drive and you can have a big high definition movie which cannot actually fit onto the storage which you have on the phone and you can actually take that particular movie on a USB flash drive which is a OTG drive or it could be connected through your to your smartphone with the help of the OTG cable in that case you can actually enjoy the contents you can browse the contents or the movie which you have on your flash drive by connecting the same to your smartphone and that is what OTG solves so in case memory is a problem if your phone supports OTG that means you can actually solve the problem with the help of that feature which your phone supports another thing which you can do with the USB OTG is that you can connect a mouse you can connect a keyboard in case you would like to use a mouse or a keyboard on your smartphone you would like to type from the keyboard itself not from the uh, smartphone display you can do that if your smartphone smartphone supported most of the phones does support it and if your phone supported then you can connect a mouse and a keyboard with the help of a USB hub and then you can enjoy the connectivity and uh, use your mouse cursor to select things on the screen again this support will be kind of limited as per what manufacturer has enabled and uh, basically decided to give you as a feature as a part of the OS so that is one thing which happens now one more thing which you need to find out and you need to know is that what does it affect 
on your smartphone it does affect your battery life and it is not like your battery uh, will go uh, like the battery is kind of damaged because of otg no it is like that how much battery drain is happening because when otg connection happens there are two things one is the usb otg a client the second thing the usb otg b client when we connect two devices like this smartphone and this otg drive over here there are two things which are happening one of these devices will act as a host which is going to be the one which provides the current for this connection so that the data transfer can take place and other things can take place and that's how the interface gets opened up on samsung phones when you connect an otg flash drive in this case the otg flash drive is actually withdrawing power from your smartphone because smartphone is acting as a host and the otg flash drive is acting as a client and in that case once this thing happens then a connection of data transfer happens and you can Accept the content which is there on the flash drive which could be movies or other files with the help of this connection and that's how it happens. Now the thing which happens because of this is that this flash drive will become hot when you start playing a movie from the flash drive itself it will, it will become hot and it will also drain the battery on your smartphone because it is withdrawing the current from your smartphone all the time. This is one thing which happens when you use OTG connection because in that case your battery will drain like anything and that is one of the problem which is there with OTG because the OTG flash drive has to withdraw power from your device to function. Apart from that, there are other things involved like can you enable OTG feature on your phone? Yes, you can. If your hardware is there on your smartphone, which has to be there for the OTG support and the drivers are also there, you need to either install the drivers in that case you will need to root a smartphone to basically install the drivers it need and sometimes the manufacturer simply disables the support uh, with a simple toggle in the software itself and in case you use third party software sometimes if you have root access then you can actually enable otg one of the example is the google nexus devices for instance so on Google Nexus devices, you do have support for USB OTG, but it, that, that is a kind of a partial support. In that case, they do not allow you to use the uh, USB flash drive to be connected with the help of the OTG feature which they have given. So they limit that functionality. And in that case, there is an application like Nexus Media Importer, which allows you to enable OTG like other devices like Samsung devices on your Nexus devices as well. And that is one way of enabling OTG. Another way of enabling OTG is by routing the phone and enabling the OTG feature only if your hardware supported. So you need to basically, first of all, make sure whether your phone supports OTG or not. Now, there are several applications we have an article the link to those application as well as to the article is there in the description of this video down below you can click on those links and find out whether your phone supports otg or not and how you can find out whether your phone actually has otg feature enabled or not or whether you can enable it so all these things will definitely help you to find out about your smartphone or any other smartphone that that smartphone supports otg or not and the features which are connected to it what all things you can do with it that we have already told you this is all we have as far as the quick difference in between usb otg 3.0 and 2.0 and what exactly usb otg is and why it is useful in case you have any queries and questions please leave your queries and questions in the comment section below in case you like this video please click the like button and you can also subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below this video over there thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off Thank you.